Let's do a wing liner if you don't. <laughs> of course, my button. To my channel and thank you so much for watching so today I am back with a makeup tutorial and I'm really excited for this look because this is a cool tone smoky eye and this video came about well I took inspiration from the song from Demi Lovato cool for the summer not the look that she was wearing in that video just the whole idea of a cool tone smoky eye for the summer that makes any sense it was one of these nights my boyfriend was just he kept like singing the song cool for the summer it was stuck in his head for some reason and I was like you know what then she looks really hot in the music video so we started looking at the music video and I was like oh my god what about if I do a cool tone smoky eye for the summer like cool for the summer in my opinion whatever I think about summer I think about warms and golds and very like summery bronzy look so I thought I would do something different something cool tone something that is also appropriate for every single day this particular look is so easy to do you do not need a lot of makeup skills in order to achieve this particular smoky eye maybe for the wing liner you are going to need a little bit of a skill but girl ditch it if you can't do it don't worry about it just ditch the wing liner and just go for the smoky eye you don't have to wear false lashes if you don't want to either i just decided to go ahead and add false lashes just because whenever i'm filming if i don't have my lashes done i feel naked i feel like the look is missing something but if you're comfortable with your natural lashes then stick to your natural lashes you do not have to wear a pair of falsies that's totally up to you and yeah this is also the first time you guys are seeing my new hair color it's frustrating the heck out of me that you can't actually see the color like the legit color on camera but it's like a very navy blue type of look you probably can see it um you can see it more true to color if i make it lighter but Oh wait, I'm making it darker. If I make it lighter, you can see the color a little bit more. This is how it looks in person. And I am obsessed with it. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do something different for a very long time. So I, I am obsessed with my hair. So this is also going to be the last time you will be seeing a video in this setup. Just because I'm officially moving to my beauty room. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, um, longest intro ever as always. So well, that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching and please keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. And don't forget to come back because I will be back with more videos very, very soon. And yeah, that's it. So I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get started. You guys know the drill. Start off by priming your eyelids. I am taking a concealer and then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm going to take that cream shade and I'm going to use this to set that concealer. Then I'm going to go in with that light gray grade, <laughs> light gray shade, and I'm going to take this with a Sigma. E40 blending brush and I'm going to pack this all over my crease from inner corner all the way to the outer corner I want it to be just as intense in the inner corner as it is in the outer corner Now I'm going to take the two lightest browns from the palette. So the first two shades I'm sorry. I don't know them by name because I rarely use this palette That's why I'm using it today, but I will have it linked down below and then I'm taking this with a luxie blending brush and I'm going to put this a little bit lower in my crease again taking it from inner corner to outer corner and then I'm going to go back in with that e40 blending brush and just blend it all out you don't have to be precise with this as you guys saw I went a little crazy with it if you know what I mean so then I took the dark gray eyeshadow with a Sigma e25 this is a more tapered blending brush and I'm going to just focus this color in the outer corner and then I'm going to be blending it upwards just a 
a little bit to meet the crease colors and I'm also going to be blending it inwards just a tad bit so now I'm going to take the two white shades from the palette you don't have to use all these colors but the palette has them so why not um so I did take this with a MAC this is a 212 I believe and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner and then I'm going to go back in with that E25 just kind of blend everything out together so that everything kind of flows I don't want it to be like stark white I definitely want it to be kind of like a gradient effect so blended all out I did go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just removed any excess and made everything extra clean and sharp now I'm taking the blink beauty this is the thin liner pen I am obsessed with this liner pen it makes it so easy for you to do a wing liner if you are not an expert at wing liner you will love this pen because it lets you get it exactly how you want it so I first start out with the outer corner and then I I work towards that lid and then I just fill it in so I first create a map and then I just fill everything in my wing today is pretty extra it's very thick and long Ooh, that's sounding kind of dirty but I just wanted to have a very dramatic wing let's just leave it at that so I did go ahead and prime my face with the benefit professional now I'm going to take the bare minerals complexion rescue I'm going to apply this all over the skin with a beauty blender and this is just going to even out our skin tone because I do have a little bit of redness going on at the moment for foundation I am taking the Milani two-in-one conceal and perfect foundation and I'm applying it with a morphe foundation brush I'm not really sure the number of this foundation brush I have to like practice my morphe brushes names because they're by numbers and it's so difficult but I do have to like get that down so that I can tell you guys which brushes I'm using because I do get questions a lot on the brushes that I'm using so moving on to concealer I am taking the NARS radiant creamy concealer in custard I'm applying a quite a bit amount of it I'm not gonna lie I went a little extra just going to be blending that out with my real techniques sponge I have been obsessed with this sponge it just has the perfect flat side and it just gets right under that under eye area I am in love with it and this is a brand spanking new one because my old one was very dingy and it had holes so it was time for a new one and there is no better feeling than using a brand new sponge no better feeling so I did go ahead and do a little bit of baking because it is the summer and I definitely need to set my under eyes because if not I look like a crazy mess I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder I did go ahead and fill in my brows and then I'm going to bronze slash contour and to do so I am taking the benefit hula bronzer I love this bronzer it's very universal it looks good on multiple skin types skin types no skin tones <laughs> and I, I just love it it's definitely a staple in my collection so I went back in with that Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to cut down those cheeks carve them out baby so then for a blush I am taking the Becca in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill champagne glow palette I'm taking rose spritz with that middle shade and yes by my face you can tell the glow and the pigment is intense so I'm applying that to the apples of the cheeks and then I'm going in with my new favorite drugstore blush slash highlight is this one is by wet and wild and it is called I am in need of a Cosmo it's so beautiful I am obsessed so I'm applying that right on top as a blush topper and then I went in with the ColourPop summer loving highlight I apply that to the apples of the cheeks and then I went back in with some more highlights this is NARS Albatross definitely an oldie but still a goodie and I apply that to the tops of the cheekbones and that completes the glow so wipe off any of the excess powder and now we're moving on to lashes I recently bought this new um, little tool from elf to do your lower lashes I really like it for clients but it's just a little thick 
Um, but it's still a good product. And I also did apply fake lashes somewhere along the way. I'm not sure when I did that because I was so concentrated in the video, but I did apply fake lashes. These lashes are by Icon and I will have a discount code down in the description. Tips, I went in with Max Snob and then I put a little bit of cream cup right in the center, also by MAC. And then I finished it off by applying the Makeup Forever Plexigloss in number 203. Finish off the face by applying applying some fix plus and you are done thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll be back very soon with another video bye so my hair is kind of frustrating me a little bit because you can't really see the actual color it's driving me crazy this choker makes me feel like a poodle who just got back from the pet groomers <laughs> it's so sparkly like something you find in a pool. I'm always like this. What's up, you guys? I was like, no, girl, calm down. Calm down from your high horse and touch the ground. I spend so much time giving it volume, and then once it's in front of the camera, it's like all shy and it's just like all in. What's up, you guys? I have no neck. So the necklace is not really on the neck. It's like on the chin, almost. Two fingers, not even, a finger, and it's in my chin. Just letting you know. Warm goodiness. Goodiness? Mm. <laughs>